good and hollow point but if you do want like please don't kill me i want to kill you wait yeah all right so hello gamers and welcome back to another video today i'm going to be talking about the bars barrel attachment in phantom forces make sure to watch till the end because there are three different guns this attachment is on and all of them perform pretty differently our first attachment is bars barrel on the ak-12 you might not even know this one exists it is very different from the other ones for some reason and basically what this does is locks the ak-12 to its thousand rpm burst it actually makes your damage worse at range however your headshot multi better your min damage range a lot better and your velocity a bit higher but your max damage range worse basically sum this up you can only burst it with a huge delay well it's not too bad actually i think the delay has been changed but 19 minimum damage so instead of five hits to kill at range it is a six shot at range which is not very good for an assault rifle and considering like the gun already had its burst before why would you ever use this i guess the only reason is it does have a uh very little recoil somewhat i don't know it still has some recoil supposedly it has less recoil i guess i never really noticed any huge recoil problems on the ak-12 to begin with so i don't know why this is even in the game especially with 19 min like why wouldn't it just like increase your damage at range or something i don't know however if you run 556 conversion it now can three hit kill to only 40 studs keeps its headshot multi being better and it's still a six shot at range it has worse damage ranges but it has higher velocity basically what this means is in long range you have the same hits to kill but up close you gain a three hit kill which is pretty nice i think you get more recoil though this does allow it to one burst but before it could already do that with 556 with less downsides this burst is just all over the place i'm not sure why this has a bar spell that sucks and the other bar spells are really good this does a completely different thing from the other one the other ones you will see in a second they have uh, automatic so should you use this bar barrel not really it's not completely awful definitely it just could be a lot better though to be fair 556 doesn't usually two hit kill head and i believe this can two Two hit kill head and three hit kill body to about 40 studs you can still run super armor piercing with it still pretty bad because 15 stud max damage range instead of 60 and overall i would recommend using like a comp or muzzle break instead of it next up we have a gun known as the ak-103 default this gun does 38 to 29 and with bars barrel it does 33 to 25 so it does lose some damage however it goes from 600 rpm to 850 and gains more headshot multi so overall your headshot damage is going to be about the same at range but up close it's going to be way worse Actually, overall, it's just going to be worse. So the better headshot multi is not a big deal. It can't two-shot headshot as far as I know. But you will notice that this actually has pretty good recoil and has 850 RPM. Keep in mind, this is without 5.56. If you guys know the bars barrel pretty well, you know that it actually has 5.56 for a lower recoil. But as you can see, it has the 30-round mag, so it doesn't have 5.56. However, like, the recoil... Like, it could be better, definitely, but it feels a lot like the Type 88, where, like, technically speaking, the recoil is pretty awful, but camera recoil is not really a problem on it, so you can kind of just shoot at a guy until they die. Another nice thing about this is that if you run AP, yes, you have a worse max damage range, but you have 2.7 studs of pen, and this gun is a four-shot kill all ranges, which makes it one of the faster-firing four-shot kill all ranges guns. The fastest one being the M231, but this is pretty up there, man. So, fast rate of fire, but a four-hit kill all ranges good headshot multi and very low camera recoil and pretty accurate all around if you really wanted to you could run hollow point on this now can three hit kill to a pretty decent range but loses some headshot multi and stuff i wouldn't 100 percent recommend this because let's be real you could just use like hk416 hollow point at this point however it does have the advantage of i believe a faster reload and kind of overall like weird recoil but maybe like more accurate depending on how you use it it's too bad you can't run a compensator with bars barrel because then it would be a lot better because it's literally only horizontal recoil with bars barrel i remember people saying it's negative recoil but literally it's only horizontal recoil as you can tell like that's only horizontal and the problem is at range that's going to be a huge problem like at that range it's getting to be pretty annoying at a very far range you're not going to hit anything basically like, you're going to hit one in like seven shots because that's just how the recoil works it's just horizontal and, like people are not wide they are tall right so that's why vertical recoil is actually better because a player's hitbox is not wide it is tall so a gun going up it might still hit a player but a gun going side to side is not necessarily going to hit a player every single time i mean in this game, it's probably better, all things considered. You guys already know, like... The hitboxes are pretty wide in this game. But yeah, then you have 556 five, conversion, which is kind of the thing that people say is meta on this. It lowers your pen, but increases velocity, increases max damage range, but reduces min, and makes the gun do 31 to 20. So instead of four hit killing all ranges, it's a five hit kill all ranges, but it gives you a 35 round mag and less recoil. 556 five, by default, I wouldn't really recommend on this gun, but with bars barrel, 556 five, is actually really strong. AP is also really good and hollow point, but if you do want like a bigger magazine, as you can see, and you can like actually spray transfer people pretty 
hard. Like, it's not bad. I used to use this gun a ton, but I don't really anymore. The last time I really used it was actually about a year ago, probably more by now. I made a video called Secret Galil in Phantom Forces. And yeah, it basically was just about how this gun is basically the Galil of this game. It's a 35 round AK, so it's basically a Galil. Like, it's not really a Galil because... Galils are Israeli. Doesn't 100% count, but I'm gonna count it, man. And that's why they probably don't need to add a Galil to this game, but it would be cool if they had a Galil. I should probably rank these like 1 to 10. I would say Bars Barrel on the AK-12. Probably about a 6 out of 10. Very much on the lower end because, let's be real, it just doesn't have anything really going for it. Even the recoil is kind of bad. Honestly, I might even give it like a 4 out of 10. Objectively speaking, it's not good. If somebody in the comments can tell me why it's good, please do because I want to know. Now we have a Galil. In my video about this gun originally. I did talk about how this can kind of be considered a direct upgrade to the HK416. There are lots of arguments as to why it would be. Not the same hits to kill, not as good damage ranges, but bigger magazine, more reserve ammo, and probably overall less recoil. Like, this gun can kind of beam people. Like, as you can see, you guys remember how I said earlier, the big problem with this gun being people are not why they are tall. It even has a burst mode. Wait. I don't think it has like a delay, like it kind of has a delay. It's not super easy to hyperburst it, but I feel like I might be able to get the full RPM. Oh my gosh, does it have lower recoil too? Some guns actually get lower recoil when they burst. It's very difficult to use it on burst, so that's why most people don't. I think we've talked about everything on here. Personally, I'd give this gun an 8 out of 10. But next up, we have the AK-105. Objectively speaking, this is probably one of the worst automatic guns in the entire game. However, you can make it the Farge, which is pretty cool. It has like ballistics tracker and short barrel and 5.5. 6 conversion. Same with the AK-103. However, default, this gun is awful. It does okay damage, 36 to 20, but has pretty awful damage ranges, not very good pen, and not even that good recoil. The biggest problem is it only has 600 RPM, and overall, I wouldn't really use it. However, Bars Barrel is very good on it. Bars Barrel makes your damage from 36 to 20 to 33 to 20. It also has 850 RPM, and very similar stats to its AK-109 counterpart. However, it has... Not the same recoil. Um, people say it has less, but I don't think it has less recoil. And overall, I think it has less recoil when you run it with 5.56 versus the other one with 5.56. It feels like it has less recoil overall with Bars Barrel. The problem with it is that it's not a four-shot kill all ranges like the other one is. It's 20 min, which is really not that good, especially for an AK. And it also sounds kind of awful. I don't know. However, on this one, 5.56 is basically a direct upgrade. Your max damage is only 29, which is really awful. But your min damage is 22. So it increases your damage at range for some reason and lowers recoil and makes your min damage range better and doesn't change velocity or pen or anything and gives you a bigger magazine. And yeah, this is when it's good. The other one is actually pretty viable without 5.56, but 5.56 on this one is really, really good. The max damage and max damage range are really not that good, especially considering the AK-103 with Bars Barrel is a 4-hit kill all ranges. This is a 4-hit kill to like maybe like 60 or 70 studs or something. It's a pretty awful 4-hit kill range. The other one is farther and especially with 5.56 is farther because it's infinite. It has less pen and stuff, but overall I'd say the other one is better in my opinion. But this is more accurate. So depends on what you want, but 100% run 5.56 with Bars Barrel on this one because there's really no downside to using it. So that's why overall people say the AK-107 is better. Most people don't really look into it, and for some reason this is the one that people were talking about, not the AK-103 with Bars Barrel. But funnily enough, I only have 120 kills on this one, while I have over 1,200 on the AK-109. I think I'm going to give this one also an 8 out of 10. Can't really run AP on it, it's not really good with AP. Overall, it's really what you want, but... Still an 8 out of 10, man. The only real advantage of it is the controllability, but that's a really big thing on it. Like, you can definitely tell. Still kind of awful to use at range sometimes, but you can kind of hit your shots, I guess. You will be surprised by, like, the ranges that the Bars Barrel AKs can actually effectively kill people sometimes, but keep in mind, the recoil is very, very weird. You can't really control it. There's no, like, pulling down or anything. You just look at a guy until they die. Please don't kill me. I want to kill you. Wait, yeah, yeah, which Bars Barrel is your favorite? Please tell me why the AK-12 Bars Barrel is viable at all down in the comments. Mine is probably the AK-109, but like the pen advantage and other advantages. I feel like AP is the meta on this thing, man. First off, it sounds crazy. They changed the sound effects, so now this one sounds like actually... Wow, it sounds so nice. Anyways, gamers, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and sub. Please give AK-12 Bars Barrel a buff in some way. But yeah, like I said, make sure to like and sub. But I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.